Charlie was so today they are reacting to King Sarkozy's homicide and it's going down all the way inside East Lagos. So today we are live inside Blue Lounge, which is located at East Lagos. You know, when you get to Opunglo, um the acts of the washing bay, and then they will show you. We deal in local and continental dishes, you know, drinks, shisha, chali, any kind of enjoyment, entertainment, everything. You can have your birthday parties, everything over here. Now you can call Blue Lounge on 020-133-8645. So we are going straight into the music video reaction. A song from King Sarko, the featuring Lamenge. We have heard the song before, but today we are coming to break it down. You know, we are coming to talk about the lyrics. What King Sarko was actually saying when, when he was writing or when he was penning down homicide. You know, there are some deep shit over there, and today we are coming to break it down. Now get ready and let's go. The nigga Mike. I wanna go soft, but it's kinda like a nigga gotta really drop a dynamite. Man, it's about to be a homicide. You know, when you watch them action movies where you see say somebody they in brother they they try um do some projects like somebody who is related to um the villain, like anybody, you know, then they gather together, then they do everything together. But if you say maybe the movie they come in, was he say then that's in brother, he will turn uh, an enemy to that um, villain or that hero. You bab. So in that case, there should be a homicide for uh, for the mo for the movie or for the story to progress. And that is what Sakwade is saying here. He's saying that it's kind of wrong, but it's feeling right. It is actually a wrong thing to commit to be a homicide. But why will you um, um, work evil on a brother man? Why will you assassinate a brother? But he's saying that it is what it's it's kind of wrong. It's wrong, but it's feeling. You have to do it for his liberty sake. You have to do it because it is right for him. That's how he feels. That is his state of mind. This is kind of wrong, but it's feeling right. Yeah. My homie say no, but the nigga might. I wanna go soft, but it's kind of like a nigga gotta really drop a dynamite. Man, it's about to be a homicide. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. You have to explode them all. You have to remove them from his circle. They are not brother man. You have to man up. You have to man up and take action. Before they what they kill him, Ibab. So he have to do he have to do the right thing before they do the wrong thing to him. And that is what Sakode is saying. When the phone is sad, me come and go say man, I'm feeling fortified. Go catch a kid, I'm a savage. Streaming was Spotify, living legends. So he's talking about the bitch ass niggas in the industry who always go around trying to destroy his name. And he's saying that, and when he pass on his opinion, when he pass on what is in his heart, the matters that are in his heart, then he feels okay. He talk about. Man, what's your numbers? I'm streaming on Spotify, and how he said it, he's not saying it as in Spotify app. He's saying it as in a Spotify. Man, what's your numbers? I'm not checking numbers. I'm me streaming on Spotify. So it's a double antenna. So Spotify to me the app. Man, what's your numbers? I'm streaming on Spotify, and then a spot to find. That means that his numbers on the app or his his streaming numbers are crazy. He's telling you niggas who are pitching him behind stages or behind the uh, media, behind your laptops, trying to be hard guys on behind the laptop that he went and check his number is streaming, it's a spot to find. You can try to beat him up, you can try to talk whatever shit you want about Sarkoday, but as for the numbers, it's actually a spot to find. Let's go. No gimmick, still I'm schooling niggas, I'm killing it, no limit. Living legend, still king, no gimmicks. Whatever he's talking about are facts. He's a living legend. He's still doing it. He has been consistent for about 13 years. I think from 2009, Sarko has been consistent up to from that time to 2022. He's still consistent. And he's saying that he's still king. No gimmicks. Gimmicks is like trying to wrap things up, trying to show off. You are trying to talk plenty. Oh, I'm this. You know, a lot of rappers who come, then they go brag, 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 brag. Yo, I'm king, I'm this. I'm the one, I'm the best rapper. I'm the god MC. Gotta really drop a dynamite. Man, it's about to be a homicide. Yeah. Bitch ass niggas be showing the phony side. Me come, me go say, man, I'm a Philly 45. Uh -huh. Go catch a kid, I'm a savage, streaming with Spotify. Living legend, still king, no gimmick. Still, I'm a schooling niggas, I'm killing it, no limit. Started in the god, I'm buried in cold lyrics. Uh -huh. My enemy, now nah, I ain't got no... Still I'm in school in the guess, no limit. <laughs> so somebody is saying that every day they school you go. It is show you the branding, it is show you the um 
I know that dripping, it is so hard to stay legit, it is so hard to pen, it is so hard to rhyme correct. Man, Charlie, stop, stop all them rhyming, you crazy. Play some hard rhyming shit. Bro, your favorite rapper, where they sabi? Your favorite MC, where they over sabi? Sako they saying that he the school arm. He the school arm for the BET. Check what he go through for there. Go and check the BET cipher Sako they do for. Sako they did in 2019. Hard lyrics, hard flow, hard punches, hard cadence. You know, voice tone is they are solid. That's what Sako they say. So he's saying that basically he's what? He's schooling your favorite rappers. And it is a fact. We all know about that. You are even aware of it. Oh, <laughs> He's not going to pick that call. He's not going to pick any devilish call of being in the haste to be on the big stages, on the big platforms, just because he should sell his soul. But he's saying that his life is like stages. It is like the Methodist keyboard from A to B. Now he's at C. Darkness living in the light, you know, broad daylight, but there are a lot of, of darkness. There are a lot of darkness. Darkness is supposed is not supposed to live inside the light. You know, people are trying to make their hard earned reputation, people are trying to achieve everything of with their hard work. But we have some people also who are trying to confuse darkness with light. Meanwhile, darkness is not supposed to overcome light. Darkness is saying there is light. Light, darkness is supposed to what? Um, die. Darkness is not supposed to survive under light. But he's saying that the darkness is living inside the light. That means that we are they are all trying, they are all pushing it. Every artist is trying to what? Make it on their own. Every artist is trying to what? Push to the top. But some of them are what? Actually mixed it. They have actually sold their soul. Some of them have gone for things that will what? Push them. Which will not, which at the end is not going to uh, benefit them. It's not going to benefit their life. So that's what, that's the message he's passing over here. And the chorus is very hard. Baby, it's fillers, trust issues, I can't keep my eyes closed. So he's saying that some of these friends, they reduce his energy. Like, they do things to manipulate his upbringing. You know, when they're around you, there's no way you will go for it. When we are trying to build capacity, then they bring you down. Anytime you are trying to move up, they bring you down. Indirectly or directly, consciously or unconsciously. They try to do, make moves that will bring you down. They can go to Mr. A to say this about you. They can go to Mr. B to say this about you. Right after that, they go to this company to talk about you, always to try to what, bring you down. And somebody is saying that some of these people, they are what? They are so for this. That means that they bring his energy down. And such people are not necessary in circles. Attack Nation, they are sad for this pride. He says they are the angel, they are, they are his angels on earth, you know. So your man is virtually saying that um sack nation are his motivation. Dark places, only got love from a sack nation. And go shine the woman so so stop hating. When you're ready, some of them make a rat racing. Cause I'm blessed like a motherfucker. Yeah, what time it be on me handle for last supper? Oh, cuckoo say what listen. Your time it be on me handle for last supper. Sack what they say, if they need anybody where they eat them for last supper. You know what last supper is? Last supper be that thing where he says to before them crucify him. I be you they hate them. So you be to that. So you do that. Come. You where they hate them, you wanna who here. So he they need you for last supper. So just come. When this when Judas Iscariot came to the last supper, do you know what Jesus did? Jesus actually gave him bread and he dipped it into um a tea for him to take. So basically, he is Jesus. If you wreck her, you go see say the highest. Sacco there, Mortai, they put some cross for there. So he's actually saying that me, I'm Jesus. So even me, if you if you hate me, cry, come. I will still provide food, give you. I will still give you the benefit. But still, me won't me come in. if you kill me, I will rise up again. Ha ha! You know, first I didn't understand this, but but understood something. He said, "Say, who rated me at metal fourth? Cause teacher me about to cry, and I found the prof." You know, I thought he was actually rhyming that, but it's not rhyme. You know, when you are when you are rating yourself, you don't put yourself on five. 
you put yourself on four. That is how to rate yourself. You don't put yourself on five. If you put yourself on five, you are actually overrating yourself. So you put yourself on four. And that's near pass soprano. And then after the prof. So you go figure say you know, you know the you disabi the rap. You know rap inside, you know how to, you get flow, you get punchlines, you get everything. By saying that, you you be teacher, he be prof. Prof. Let's go. If you're gonna rap at it in my palm, I go cheat. So you go to go look at one now. Rap of one, I go pay you one in palm. If you're gonna rap at it in my palm, I go cheat. You go to go cry one now. If you're gonna rap at it in my palm. So, Sakode is actually showing you his calves. He's actually showing you what he has done to the Ghanaian rap scene. Everybody wants to be like a Sakode. Now, if it's on Twitter, who is the next Sakode? Who is going to be, who is, who is going to dethrone Sakode? This shit has been there for about eight years. And still, we have not really got somebody who got all that potential, all the correct flow, all the correct cadence, all the, vo all the correct voice and tuning on the beat. We've still not got that person yet. And he's saying that, why then? Um, but they are gonna rap not to why they were from. So now when we talk about rap, in fact, when we talk about music in general, it is rap that shows off for Ghana. And that is what Sakode has done. That's a, a, a big work over there. He projected Ghana on the BET Hip Hop Cypher. He projected, he projected Ghana once again on the main stage at the BET Hip Hop 2019. And that was a great achievement. And he got the caps. He got the caps. Don't just brag. Get a cap to show. Show us what you do. He be working, not be talking. What you say? And Sakode is showing it right on your favorite rapper's face. God damn it. I did it before, I'm doing the game. You selling your soul, but wait till you gain. Now they never want to drop me insane, but one day the sunshine will come by the rain. So Yeah, so he's saying that. The, the devil is trying to dri drive me insane, but one day the sunshine will come over the rain. So this song actually was recorded during the time that Shatawale was actually after Sarkode. Always on Sarkode's nerves, radio stations after radio stations. And that time was when he was releasing that Rain album, if you can, if you can remember, the Rain album by Shatawale in 2019. This was the time that Sarkode released, actually released Homicide. It was after all those runs. And the truth actually came out that Sarkode was, um, was built for a bigger money than what Shatawale um, requested and global people gave it to Sarkode instead of Shatawale so Sarkode actually didn't do anything to Shatawale but rather Shatawale went on to destroy um, Sarkode's reputation on the various media in Ghana the whole song is very very fire the whole song is hard you know and Lamem Gan didn't come here to joke they were actually on the point. They were actually doing their work. They understood the assignment. And that was fucking hard. Everything on that song was solid. Production to the voice toning um, from Lamem Gang and Sarkodes Bass was crazy. And with this type of songs, you need to get um, you need to be somebody who is very deep to actually fathom all this bass, you know. You will just be listening to this song just like that and you'll be passing all the bars. You know, Sarko is somebody that he does not make his bars vivid. He does not make his bars clear. Like he's making normal, normal wet please. Sarko does not do that with that. Sarko always goes with metaphors and proverbs and, and a little double and triple and tenders. That's how Sarko moves. And Sarko proves of, he, he, and he proved over here that he's actually the king of um, proverbs and, and um, double and tenders in the Ghana rap scene and in fact in African rap scene and that was hard and thank you all for watching our video today tell us how we should how we should better ourselves in this game tell us what we should do to make it better for you you are the viewers so we respect your views so the comment section we want to see how you feel about the breakdown and everything the whole setup here you know um yeah and we are giving props to blow lounge blow lounge is inside east lego Try and come around and have fun. Everything talks about entertainment, local and continental dishes. Charlie is a very nice place to be. If you're only going to come back, just go to your boat app and type Blow Lounge. If you type Blow Lounge, it will come there. It's inside East Legon. See you and God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Yeah. And next week, we are coming again. It's a very nice, another music reaction. But comment what reaction you want us to do for you. We want to see your views. We want to know which artist you recommend for us to break their bars. Thank you so much for joining us today. And may God bless you. Bye-bye.